have negativity and the naysayers cause you to experience discouragement on your journey? Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Latasha Brown, here to help you experience a healthier and greater life and financial life. Today, I just wanna talk about negativity because sometimes along the way in our journey, we run up against some negativity, even some naysayers. So how do you respond? How do you stay encouraged when there's nothing but negativity around you? Well, recently, Tabitha Brown showed us how to respond to negativity with grace. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know how you can shut down negativity. So let's just dive right in. When you are on a journey, you may not ever have someone that sees your vision. They may not ever understand your dreams, your aspiration, or your desire to live a life free of debt, you know, to be financially well, stable and secured, to spend less and save your money, to retire early, or even starting a business, shifting your career, you know, or even just doing something completely out of the normal or different. You may not ever have someone that agree with that or even see your vision, but you don't need anyone to agree with it, to validate it. It is your vision. It is your vision, but the negativity and the naysayers that think that it would never happen for you, it can be discouraging. So I want to share with you three things that I learned from Tabitha Brown's response to Wendy Williams recently and how she responded with grace. And I want to share how that can really change your thinking around the naysayers and the negativity and shift your whole reaction. First thing is just asking God to bless them. Tabitha responded by firstly saying, may God bless you. Because here's the thing, we don't have to let the negativity or the naysayers steal our joy, you know, take us out of character, or even to react in a way that it worsens the situation. We can simply ask and pray that God's blessings for the situation and for that person. God bless you. Secondly, when negativity pop up, just trusting God's plans and his promises for you. Because in, in the midst of negativity, we can easily get discouraged and just start doubting your own journey and doubting your own path. But when you stand firm on God's promises, that he heard your prayers and that he knows your desires and standing on his word that prompts and shut down any negativity and naysayers. Cause here's the thing. No one knows your deepest intimate conversations with God, what he promised for you, your struggles and what you have handed over to God to help you with. So when it comes to negativity, trust God's plans and his promises for you. Pray for them. Tabitha basically said, I pray God's peace, his understanding, and his excitement for you. That is so powerful. When you run up against negative people or naysayers, pray for them. Pray that whatever they're going through to make them be so negative, that God brings them peace, that he brings them love, that he brings them understanding. And that will shift the whole atmosphere because sometimes we may not understand why someone is so negative because we don't know their hurt and their pain, but just simply praying for them that God touches that hurt and that pain can just shift everything. That's how we handle negativity with grace. And we have to know when to stop and block other people's limitations over our journey. Because here's the thing. When we know that we know what we desire and what we talked with God about, those conversations with God, we can be certain that we're on the right path. And sometimes people can't see past their own limited beliefs or their own hurt or pain to even see that it's possible for you. And so we have to know that it's possible for us by staying and standing Affirming on God's word and believing in Jeremiah 29 and 11 that God has plans for us. And so when a negativity pop up, we handle it with grace because sometimes God uses those negativities to prosper us, to elevate us, and to give us an opportunity to show God's people 
what he is able to do. So if you're on a financial journey and you, you're getting a lot of negativity and a lot of naysayers saying what's not going to happen for you, you have to continue to show up for you and just know that it's your vision. You stay committed and true to your process. So that's all I have for you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this was inspiring. Drop a comment and let me know how do you handle negativity and do me a great big favor. Like this video, your likes matter to me. I graciously appreciate you and subscribe to my channel. If you like to be inspired and motivated, and encouraged, and then given tips on how you can experience financial wellness and mindset shifting and manage your money more peacefully. I am your girl. Subscribe to my channel. It is free and you'll get some great vibes and inspiration. And in the meantime, in between time, y'all have an abundant day.